Hi, I want to do a quick demonstration of how to use Excel to group your trades by the day of the week and the time block. I've exported a sample of trade data using NinjaTrader and I need to add some additional columns. So I've got day, hour, minute, group of minute and then the grouped time. What this uh, formula is doing is it's just taking the uh, the minute data that I've extracted and it's rounding it down to the nearest multiple of 15. So I'll take the hour, the grouped minute by 15 and then I'll put 0 for seconds. If I can just copy this down. So you can see now that you've got by the entry time the 15 minute block for each trade um, in the sample set. So that's going to make it a lot easier to compare the data. So what I need to do next is create a simple pivot table. So I'll add day of the week to the columns and the grouped time to the rows. And you can see we've got the um, the 15 minute blocks here. Now of course you could change that to anything that you wanted. Um, NinjaTrader does allow you to compare up to 30 minute blocks. However, I don't believe you can do it by the uh, day of the week at the same time. So what I want to do now, and you can compare anything that you've got here, so you could compare um, MFE, you could compare MAE, you could compare anything, any information, any um, field that you've got in here, you could compare. But what we're going to do here is we're just going to add profit. So this is the total profit at the moment and I'm just going to do a really quick, actually this, um, you'll notice there's uh, one at 8am. Now that actually is a spurious entry so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove it by clicking on the drop down at the top next to sum of profit and unchecking the 8am and that just removes it. So what I'm going to do now is just do a conditional format so that we can see the um, information a little, little more clearly. Um, so that just does it by percentage um, of the number. What I want is positive numbers to be blue or even green. Um, it's up to you and negative numbers to be red so actually I'm just going to make that green and we're going to change that from percentile as the midpoint to number and have it in as zero make that a little bigger and you can see that this is the total of all the um, trades, the PL of every trade within that 15 minute time block by day of week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 
Now what we can do is we can also check what the average might be. So we'll, we'll have a look at the count, the number first. And you can see clearly in this particular trade plan, we have many more trades occurring right at the start of the day. And this is, uh, this is in the DAX and um, it basically stops before the US session. So you, what you would see is if you went on throughout the day, you would see another grouping of trades probably when the US session started. Um, as it is, it just tails off mostly uh, towards the end, apart from um, on Thursday, interestingly enough. So what we can do now is we can have a look at that average. If we click on the count of profit and in the values box, and we'll just change that to average. Uh, we'll just make sure the number format's correct so we only get a couple of decimal places. And we can see that actually the problem is with these trades towards the end is that they are based on fewer trades so that, that the um the the average might not be as um indicative of what's what's going on um we can see that some of the data earlier on though uh does demonstrate in particular that there are possible um times that are going to be more uh, profitable and times which are going to be less profitable but of course the thing that you have to realize with any data, although Excel is going to output uh, the data in the way that you want it to, it has to be, um, there has to be enough data in order to draw valid conclusions from. And you can see in this case perhaps, um, perhaps we ideally would have more data uh, than this. It's um, possibly per time period it's not there aren't as many trades as you would like to be able to draw very good conclusions but nevertheless it's uh, it's an interesting way of um, putting the data and uh, you can change the grouping you could change this to um, by half hour you could change it to by the hour uh, and of course you could do um, week of the month month of year depending on what your strategy is. So I hope you found some uh, valuable information here and uh, thanks for watching.